This video will demonstrate our technique for arthroscopy-assisted core decompression and bone grafting for avascular necrosis of the hip. The patient is positioned supine on the postless traction table. After prepping and draping, we begin with the bone marrow aspiration. A standard jam sheety needle is advanced into the iliac crest. The bone marrow is then aspirated while withdrawing the needle slowly and rotating to gather progenitor cells on the endosteal surfaces. The bone marrow aspirate is then combined with demineralized bone matrix allograft as well as 1 cc of iohexal contrast. We then perform a standard diagnostic hip arthroscopy to assess the articular cartilage as well as the intraarticular soft tissue structures. In pre-collapse hip AVN, we often observe synovitis and 60 to 70 percent of hips have a labrum tear along the anterior superior rim. In this patient, we did identify a labral tear, so we begin by resecting some of the hip capsule and elevating it away from the acetabular rim. We continue elevating the capsule off of the labrum using the radiofrequency ablation wand. This is done in order to expose the bony surfaces for anchor placement. An arthroscopic burr is then inserted into the joint and used to decompress the subspine region as well as to perform any osteoplasty as needed for pincer lesions. Once the acetabular rim is exposed, we prefer to use all suture knotless anchors along the torn portion of the labrum for repair. The anchors are placed and the knotless mechanism utilized to repair the labrum one by one. When utilizing knotless anchors for labral repair, care is taken not to over-tighten, which can result in eversion of the labral tissue. In this case, three sutures were placed, and this was found to adequately stabilize the labral tear. No femoral head collapse was noted in this patient, so we elected to proceed with the core decompression, which is done with the hip released from traction. An incision is made on the lateral aspect of the thigh in line with the axis of the femur through subcutaneous tissue and the IT band. Using the guide from the AVN expandable reamer system, we identify the appropriate start point on the lateral femur using the freehand technique, and the 2.4 millimeter guide wire is advanced into the femoral head on AP and lateral imaging. The guide is then advanced a few millimeters into the lateral cortex, and the larger 5 millimeter drill is used to create a path for the expandable reamer system. The expandable reamer is then advanced and slowly used to core out the necrotic areas of bone starting with its lowest diameter and expanding to 18 millimeters. Leaving the drill guides in place, we insert the delivery cannula and inject the autograft and allograft bone mixture, impacting it into the reamed cavity using the stylet. We then place any additional graft into the reamed pathway while removing the drill guides. Finally, traction is reapplied to the hip and the arthroscope reinserted to ensure no graft extrusion into the joint. This can also be visualized on C-arm. At this point, traction is released and we can proceed with the capsular closure. Two non-absorbable tape sutures are placed in the capsular leaflets in a simple technique. Both sutures are placed completely prior to tying either suture to avoid loss of visualization. The sutures are then cut. Once adequate closure, the capsule is confirmed. After the capsular closure is complete, the lateral wound is irrigated and closed in a layered fashion. Thank you for watching.